Tornado warnings save lives. Our current 15 minute system, that's good. An hour would be better. But to improve the warning time, forecasters need better information about tornado genesis, how they spin up. It's too dangerous for people to be in that spot at that moment. But our meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen found CU Boulder engineers going in with drones. All right, launching in three, two, one. A fixed wing drone built by CU Boulder Engineering heads into a developing supercell thunderstorm on the Great Plains, part of the Taurus Tornado Research Project. Over the course of the five weeks we were in the field, we flew on 20 different storms, seven of which produced tornadoes. The sensors on this unmanned aircraft are more advanced than ever, and they were being sent somewhere they've never been. With the drones, we are collecting new data that's never been collected before. Mission leaders wanted data collected directly from the left flank of supercells, a part of the storm only scanned previously by radar, a challenge that CU Boulder gladly accepted. The left flank, that's the heart of the hail and what you see in the radar. So if we slow down, we get bombarded with hail. So the novelty was this left flank. We had to get just to the edge of the hail and the rain, touch the storm, turn around and get back out. They put these drones through some tough conditions, but got the job done. Engineering that group leader Eric Fru could be proud of. So at least at one point we encountered a 75 mile per hour wind gust in our drone. Not only was the aircraft able to, to survive that, but the communication systems, our ability to, to talk to the drone, command the drone, that all worked flawlessly. A grueling 9,000 miles on the road chasing storms. CU professors, graduate students, and even undergrads launching not just one, but three drones. That was an engineering success, and we're really excited to see what scientific successes that brings. In Boulder, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for next. I mentioned the difference between a 15-minute warning and an hour warning. That's our current average warning time, and then what CU Boulder's hope that their research will someday allow.